if you're a student or a developer watching this video then stay till the end as I'm going to tell you on how you can start learning latest Microsoft technologies all that are free of cost coming up all right so let's dive into the video my name is Stephen Simon and I happen to be the Microsoft student partner when I was in my college I mean when I was in my graduation those days were really nice and uh, I believe being a student it's been uh, the best days of your life but something that I really did in my entire graduation was not just bunking classes but also to learn every single day I made sure that every single day that I spent in my four years of my engineering I contribute to that and I always knew that the college or the university I was studying is always bound to the syllabus made by some university or by the college itself so I had to go one step ahead and find something that would help me in my career so that I can get into the corporate world and to me something that came as an equalizer was the access of the internet whosoever and any student who's watching this video I'm sure you surely have the access to internet and if you're watching this video I'm really sure you're enthusiastic to learn something new but often learning is not free it's expensive you have to pay it and not actually everyone can afford it but the access of internet really changed my life I come from a very normal college but when I had the access to internet something that I realized that when I go and search something on Google it works very similar or it works exactly same the way I write anything or it gives the result the way any uh, top tier college student would write or maybe a developer doing a Google search from Silicon Valley so when I realized about this thing I was like whoa now when I have access to internet I can do wonders and internet is full of knowledge uh, I was a Microsoft student partner in my college and eventually I became the Mr. Microsoft student partner of India 2017 I mean out of 1000 MSPs uh, I was chosen as the number one MSP it really took me a long to reach there but I finally made it so how did I keep myself updated I've not told it to many guys but the website that I always preferred hang on for all those my friends and uh, batchmates who are watching this video I guess I never told you but I'm going to tell you today the website that I always used to keep myself updated about all the mics of technologies and to do certifications for free of cost without paying anything was Microsoft Virtual Academy yes you heard that right it's called Microsoft Virtual Academy it's a website where you just go and log in it's entirely free of cost you need not pay anything there are many courses all the way from gaming, cloud computing, uh, database, mobile applications. You can learn everything for free of course and also get a certification. I hope you, you are now going to visit that website. But if you will visit that website, you'll come to know that it says it's expiring. Do not worry, Microsoft is now navigating to a new website and that's called Microsoft Learn. That's the second resource. First one was Microsoft Virtual Academy. Second one was Microsoft Learn. Now Microsoft Learn, you can learn about uh, Azure. You can learn about the SQL Server. So all the courses that they had in MVA, that is Microsoft Virtual Academy, they're now shifting it to um, Microsoft Learn. Maybe not all, but if the best courses from that website. So all remember that uh, MVA and the second one is Microsoft Learn. And that's not over yet okay that that's not over I have one more platform for you it's about keeping yourself updated with the Microsoft technologies uh, it's a website that's called believe me I've not told this anything to my friends when I was in my graduation 
uh, I may be mean, but I did that to keep myself ahead from the other people. Uh, this website is called Channel 9. Uh, I'll give the link uh, somewhere over here. I'll just write it. Okay, it's called Channel 9. You'll find many uh, shows over there. They have a series of shows like IoT show or artificial intelligence show. You can just all go there and watch uh, every day. They come with new content over there. So you can learn about Microsoft technologies over there too. And the last one would be your uh, the documentation of Microsoft. Just you can Google um, MSDN that stands for Microsoft Developers Network. You just go to the website. It's a kind of community. Uh, you can read articles and blogs written by many uh, developers, which will help you in developing your programming skills. So uh, those are the things that I did in my graduation. Also something that I believe you should be taking from this video is that there's something called Microsoft Student Partner Program and you should be applying it. Often their forms come in the month of August. Uh, make sure that if you're a student watching this video, uh, college courses are not meant to, uh, you know, to keep yourself updated. Even they have some foundations. So it's your responsibility, your life, your career to do something new. That's all from my side. My name is Stephen Simon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.